The world today is filled with many iconic cars. There are numerous automobiles made throughout history that have stunned the people. Some vehicles become famous for their luxury, some for their style, while others for their speed. But since the introduction of Lamborghini cars, it has become the one car that has it all – acceleration, style, and a smooth ride. Lamborghini has inspired generations upon generations, but there is something that is even more inspiring than the car itself. It is the story of the man who manufactured the vehicle, Ferruccio Lamborghini, and today we will dive right into it. Ferruccio Elio Arturo Lamborghini was born on 28 April 1916 to a family of grape farmers. His parents worked at a vineyard. They wanted Ferruccio to join the family business. Still, he did not share the same passion for farming as his family did. He was more interested in the machinery that they used during farming. As a young man, he loved to study the mechanics side of agriculture. After he came of age, he followed his interest in mechanics. Lamborghini went to study at the Fratelli Tadia Technical Institute near Bologna. He graduated with an engineering degree. However, in 1940, he was drafted into the Italian Royal Air Force at the start of World War II. He served as a mechanic at the Italian garrison and was stationed at the island of Rhodes. There, he became the supervisor of the vehicle maintenance unit. He spent his next five years of the war on that island. At the end of the war in 1945, the island fell to the British. As a result, Lamborghini got taken as a prisoner of the war. He had to stay in English prison for a year and could not return home until the following year. After he returned home, Lamborghini got married. Unfortunately, his wife died in 1947 while giving birth to his first child. Luckily, the boy survived and was named Tonino. Lamborghini opened a garage in Pierre di Cento. Lamborghini modified an old Fiat car that he owned. He made use of his mechanical abilities to transform the old vehicle into a roaring 750cc. Not only this, he turned it into an open-roof top two-seater. In 1947, Ferruccio Lamborghini recognized an emerging market in post-war Italy. The market was devoted to agricultural and industrial revitalization. Lamborghini took this chance and decided to make tractors, as he saw the future of farming as industrial advancement. Lamborghini built the first of his Carioca tractors using parts from military vehicle engines and differentials from ARAR Aziende Recupero Alinazione Residuati centers. At that time, petrol in Italy was excessively priced. To overcome this problem, Lamborghini modified the engines of Morris vehicles with a fuel atomizer he created. The improvisation of machines allowed the tractors to start with petrol and then switch to the cheaper diesel fuel. After the initial success of the Carioca tractors, Lamborghini further established his business. He founded a company named Lamborghini Trattiore and began manufacturing tractors. Lamborghini's mechanical expertise led him to enter the business of tractor manufacturing in 1948. He quickly became a successful manufacturer of agricultural equipment during Italy's economic revolution post-World War II. After he had established his tractor business in 1959, he opened an oil burner factory. He named it Lamborghini Bruciatori. The same company later entered the business of producing air conditioning equipment. By that time, Lamborghini had become one of the most influential businessmen of Italy. His name was widely known. Although he was still considered a farmer's son who only made tractors among some of the elite, his reputation spoke otherwise. He was one of the wealthiest men in Italy, and his fortune was only increasing. With his abundant wealth, he pursued his ambition of owning expensive cars. He could now purchase faster and more expensive vehicles than the tiny Fiat he had tinkered with during his youth. During the early 1950s, he bought cars such as Alfa Romeros and Lancias. Later on, he added a Mercedes-Benz 300 SL to his fleet of vehicles. He also purchased a Jaguar E-Type Coupe. Afterward, he got two Maserati 3500 GTS. Although Lamborghini had enough cars to drive a different car for every day of the week, he was not fully satisfied with the sports cars that were being made. Every vehicle on the market had certain defaults which disappointed him. He respected Adolfo Orsi. He was the owner of Maserati back then. He had started life as a poor boy, just like Lamborghini, but he did not like his cars much. According to Lamborghini, Maserati cars felt heavy, which affected the speed of the vehicle. It slowed them down. The heavy weight did not let cars run very fast. Lamborghini then came to know about another car that had earned a name for itself in no time. They were the Ferrari sports cars that everyone talked about. In 1958, Lamborghini traveled to Maranello to buy a Ferrari 250 GT. It was a two-seater coupe designed with a body by coach builder Pinin Farina. He went on to own several more over the years. Lamborghini found out that Ferrari's cars were equipped with inferior clutches. As a result, cars required continuous trips to Maranello for rebuilds, but that never solved the issue. One day, with his mechanic, he replaced the clutch with one of his clutches to make tractors. It made the ride very smooth. Lamborghini brought this to Enzo Ferrari's attention. The notoriously pride-filled man Ferrari dismissed him, telling him, what does a tractor manufacturer know about cars? 
After that day, Lamborghini made up his mind to build a sports car with qualities lacking in Ferrari's cars. He aimed to have high performance without compromising tractability, improve ride quality, and better the interiors. A clever businessman, Lamborghini also knew something that could make triple the profit. If he installed the components used in his tractors in a high-performance exotic car, he would have a thriving business. His aim was not only to generate competition for Enzo Ferrari, but he also wanted to make a car that defeated Ferrari's cars in every way possible. To fulfill his objective, in May 1963, Lamborghini founded the company Automobili Ferruccio Lamborghini. He hired former Ferrari engineers Gina Paolo Dallara and Robert Wallace to design and develop his cars. The first car that was manufactured in the company was the Lamborghini 350 GT. Lamborghini made sure that his car was free from all of the glitches found in Ferrari. Once he was able to clear them all, his car became far superior in terms of the defects that Ferruccio had seen in the Ferrari. The first Lamborghini was presented at the car fair in Turin in that same year. Coming years, slowly yet steadily, Lamborghini's car gained popularity. He personally liked his vehicles in every way. However, his steady rise of the sports car brand catapulted in the year 1967. Lamborghini introduced the model Mirura that year. The Spanish bullfighting livestock inspired the name Mirura. The founder of Lamborghini had always been passionate about bullfighting. It was the only reason he considered a bull as the brand's logo. All of the Lamborghini's cars are named after these animals. At the launch of Mirura, specialized media had turned to admire the prototype of the vehicle. The publicity from the press significantly improved the popularity of the car. After the launch of Mirura, Lamborghini cars surpassed all its competitors. It took Ferruccio Lamborghini to new heights of success. In 1972, Lamborghini got massive orders from South America for his cars. He had to make significant investments to improve the production capacity of his factory. Unfortunately, these orders were cancelled. It forced him to sell a part of his company to recover some of the money he had invested. In that same year, Georges Henry Rossetti joined the company. In 1973, Ferruccio Lamborghini sold his shares of the company to René Lemire. Afterward, Lamborghini went to live in a vineyard that he had bought years ago and engage in agricultural work, although he still had all the other companies that he had started. Born in a poor farmer's house, he fought a war, even ended up in prison. Still, Lamborghini rose above it all to become a multi-millionaire and one of the most outstanding manufacturers Italy ever had. That's the end of our video. Do you think Ferruccio Lamborghini's story is inspiring enough? Comment right below what you think about him and his legacy, the Lamborghini cars. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss more videos from The Millionaire Post. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.